So with just an IXM and a piezo, we can play pulse-based tones. But a while ago, Sam Bayless implemented I2C bus support and got an IXM talking to an I2C digital to analog converter on a SparkFun breakout board. So of course I had to try that and I ended up making this thing with a SparkFun DAC and a Radio Shack LM386 amp and enough wrong value caps and stuff to horrify any serious audio person, which I'm not. Uh, my sample rates here is only 11 kilohertz and hey check out my triple tab speaker enclosure this thing induces spontaneous audiophile combustion uh, uh, I've also hooked the probe in here so we can look at the waveform on the scope plug it in yeah definitely more than pulses and we've got a couple octaves or more to play with. And it turned out that the IXM is fast enough to mix tones on the fly. If we want to really go nuts, we need a data source, and an IXM SD cell is perfect for that. Now, here I've just got this connected to one card, but the software is designed to actually pull the data through an IXM network. And once we've got a data source, we can play just about anything. Sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. For you. Alright, so that's a demo of the new I2C support available in version 0920 of the SFB core code. Let's end up with something with some bass. Even lo-fi sampling works on that. <laughs> 